Sir? Sir. Sirs? Sir, yes, sir. Hello. I'm Sujiki. As you might or might not know, today joined by this sir here, um, who has absolutely no clue about this game. So he's going to be pretty much useless. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> we're playing Neverwinter Nights, as you can see. The game's, of course, in German. As you know from my previous runs at ESAs, I have my games in German. Um, we're gonna play the second expansion set, which is Horse of the Underdark, but really the game is a, let's say, tool set. So it was released as a D&D adaption. Um, it's actually really exciting for me because I really, really, really enjoyed this game as a kid. Um, I'm glad it got accepted. I'm really excited to showcase it. It's a really comfy little run that has a lot of skips. And um, yeah, as I said, so the developers put a tool set into the game. They actually built three campaigns, which are like preset D&D adventures, so to say. We're going to play the second one because it's, in my opinion, the coolest and the most exciting one. Before we do that, we have to, of course, go through the f everyone's favorite process, which is creating a character. Isn't that right? No. Uh, so um, there was there was a bid war um, for the character name, which you might want to tell me now because I'm choosing the, the gender here. But I'm supposing we're going male because we're sir. Yeah, you all good? So um, is there are there any D&D &D nerds in here? Because honestly, yeah, good. Because sometimes I'm not gonna know why stuff is the way that it is, and you can just shout at me and and tell me why. Like, it's been a long time for me, okay? Like I've played a lot of D and D when I was young. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, if we're doing Pippi, okay, it's all good. Yeah. So we're going female. Um, we're gonna be a human. The reason is as. Ruby clearly knows we get an additional feat on level 1. Um, since, unfortunately, we are female now, we can. I'm just going to show my favorite portrait real quick. Because it's actually pretty great. Uh, I'd like to be this cow here. <laughs> Can't do that now. right now, unfortunately. Uh, you can choose. What do you want, guys? Which one? That one. This one? No, the one on the screen. Which one is on the screen? Just point at me, kind of, please. I'm just messing with. That, I don't care. Uh, okay, we. Uh, that's all good. <laughs> we'll be this lady here. It's no. fine. So we will play as a monk. Um, the reason will be obvious later. Uh, on none of this matters in any way. Um, we're gonna put some attributes. So strength for killing people, constitution to survive, intelligence is just for skill points. Uh, this is really exciting, actually. Um, we're gonna choose our character's voice very soon, and usually, I have the. Dumb idiot voice, <laughs> which keeps like shouting, haha, <laughs> but we can't do that because we're female. We could actually go male, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it that way. We're gonna start anytime soon, tech man. We're all good, I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna pick skill focus here on a praise. This will be uh, for a big glitch coming up later, and we're gonna choose power attack prerequisite for something else. Now, everyone's favorite part. Um, I like this. This is good. Um, yeah, all sir, good. Sir, sir, <laughs> sir, sir. <laughs> well, we need to actually see this because we can choose steel as a as our skin color, right? We're gonna be full steel today. Steel hair as well. Actually, like the pink hair. Let's go. Okay, perfect. It's purple. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Mystical. <laughs> No. Huh? <laughs> Do you want this one? Oh yeah, that's, that's okay. Sensual. So what's the name? So tell me now. Pippi. Ro yeah, uh, the next one. <laughs> Bless you, <laughs> sir. Please. Okay, we're gonna be 2022 years old, and our deity is Hecathon. Okay, thank you. And we can play, and the timer will start once I skip this cutscene. So, in. Eine der it's really loud, three actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, three, Hier two, one. Man. Get that crap out of the way. Okay, you can clap. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, we will level up a bunch of things. I actually don't need to do that at all. Um, yeah, so pick a bunch of feats. Uh, this is everyone's favorite time part in the game we're gonna level up to level 15 because the game is wants us to be on epic level 
And actually the story in this game is really really awesome, I'm gonna tell you more about it later, but first we're gonna level a couple monk levels until level 8 precisely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me do this. This is actually kind of complicated and I don't need, I should not mess this up. So now we will become a wizard. The reason for that is manifold, but one of the reasons... Wait, wait, what? what? Um, yeah, it's all good. Um, we take here weapon focus. There we go. We t put this one and we learn some spells which don't matter, but this is the big time. So this will be Sir Salute. Our panther, this will be a really, really important asset later on in the run, of course. It doesn't matter what we do here. And then finally, we're going to put some stuff into lore so we can identify our items and learn invisibility. And then the rest of the stuff will be done manually. Okay, so now we're level 15. The game picks a bunch of stuff for us. Um, yeah, don't care. Didn't ask. Yeah, fine. So we unequip this because we're a monk and we beat people up. We also steal. Okay, we bind that, put that on the second page. Actually, the menu ending is really hard! Okay. Sir, okay. calm down. No, no, sir. Oh, wrong button. Oh, we close the door. There we go. Okay, while I do that, we're gonna actually loot some stuff here. The only reason is to sell it. So, like, they give us access to this really nice uh, kind of weaponry, but we're just actually gonna sell it back to them. Really nice. Um, that's what you should do, and that's what we all did when you played this game, of course. Uh, actually, this bunch of stuff we're actually going to equip. This is a haste potion, which we need later on. We're going to take this and this. Um, take this one, because it's actually worth something. Equip this. Go into the spell menu, which is always the wrong hotkey for me. Do this spell. Actually, do the spell. Funny voice in female. I haven't played female in a long time. And then we're off. Okay. So, these are our old friends from the previous adventure. They greet us, we ignore them. Goodbye. So, while I do all this stuff, I gotta actually do all my binds, uh, talk to this guy. Okay, we're getting attacked. I might be invisible now. I'm not. Very good. So, I'm beating people up while I do all of this, but the real deal is that we actually do our stuff correct here in the menus. Actually, every time I press uh, tab, you can see my beautiful name that you guys donated for. Thank you very much. Okay, equip this. Okay, then we drink our beautiful potion. And we go off to the next part. I mean, none of this really matters. We're getting attacked. We're in, in the water deep. This is the D&D, &D again. Um, Forgotten Realms 3.0 or something. I don't know. So we're currently in deep water, we're getting attacked by the drow because something happened in their kingdom, whatever. We're gonna learn more about it later. Actually, don't forget to press your stuff. And yeah, this is a turn-based game. I'm getting healed by this friendly planet cleric right here. Watch another cutscene which hopefully will not make us invisible. If I skip it at, a, at the wrong time, I might be invisible. Okay, we're all good. So now um, a woman will appear here woman. There she is. Actually, that's the first time I see her walking in there. Nice PCs here. So every time I, I play this game, something is different. And we're actually going to sell her all the stuff that we just looted. Beautiful. Capitalism. Uh, by the way, capitalism will be very important later on. And then we, she buys us this beautiful black robe and all of a sudden we're really quick because it has haste on it and that's literally all we need to go fast. As you know, uh, we're going to ignore this guy. And now we're in the Undermountain. And the Undermountain, like this game, is probably casually tens of hours just to beat this single campaign. And we're actually going to make it possible in 40 minutes by skipping literally everything in the entire first act in the first few minutes. So this setup is hard. And of course I get it first try. You can clap for that. So thanks, sir. Sir actually made us skip a puzzle. This is a whole huge puzzle section which you can spend hours and hours of your life in to search for keys and items and whatsoever. We just skipped past all of that. And now we're in the second area in the, in the Undermountain. And again, we're just going to ignore everything that is going on. Again, probably three hours that you spend here. Maybe two. I don't know. Um, yeah, but you're supposed to collect all these keys and get through all these doors you see here. Didn't care. Nobody was asking. And uh, we can just walk through doors. But that's a bit finicky. Let's see. So these guys ignore me because I'm invisible. Okay, sir. Sir. 
I'm not getting any any speed toward there we go and we're through the door perfect every time easy so that's another two hours of casual gameplay skipped and now we're in the third layer and actually the drow are kind of not usually living here um, this is our new friend drow but go away um, thankfully we're still invisible and I know where the traps lie so I'll walk around them and then get through this door because I want to keep my invisibility for the next section otherwise everybody's gonna shoot at me and shout at me Actually, clipping the doors is a bit harder on this PC for whatever reason. There we go. Easy. It looks like cheating, right? Isn't that right, sir? No. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. It looks fine. like failing. <laughs> sir. <laughs> well, <laughs> sir. <laughs> but yeah, so now we're no longer in the Under Mountain. Actually, we are still in the Under Mountain, but in the part where the drow actually live. Uh, there's a nice little uh, beholder. Um, we're just going to walk. Again, we still have our visibility. Um, and they have actually somehow, the guy who's ruling this is a, is a wizard, he's gone crazy, and the, as we will find out here very soon by doing this really, really cool glitch. So again, uh, there's a door, and we're just going to walk through it, and what's that going to make? So usually when I click the door, a cutscene is going to play, which will make everybody hostile in the next room. But if I never click the door, then it won't ever make them hostile, so I can just literally go here and free... Halaster, which is the ruler of the Ender Mountain. And uh, we again skipped the next two hours of casual gameplay, which is the third layer of Ender Mountain, and that's the Act 1 almost done in about seven minutes. Yeah, pretty nice. So there's a big glitch coming up, as you know, in, in good old Bioware manner. All you need in RPGs is infinite XP and infinite gold. So the first thing we're going to get is infinite XP here. How we're going to do that is... Oh yeah, I'm actually going to show you this cutscene because I, I think it's pretty cool. Like, usually everybody here is dead, and then these guys come in, and he's like... What is he going to say? Der Some Germans here. <laughs> he kills literally everybody, and it lags crazy because way too much stuff is going on. And yeah, so as this is a turn-based game, we can simply pause the game and then... Lag the crap out of game, so you can see here, I'm spamming my left mouse button, and every time he says Tum Grusa, Tum Grusa. And it will get slower and slower, because the game lags and lags and lags even more. Every time I get 7,500 XP. Sir. And it's completely PC dependent on how long I have to do this, so I'm just going to be safe and do it for a little... Longer, some gruels, some. We can maybe do donations now. Yeah, sure. One. Anonymous donated thirty dollars. Thank you, anonymous. <laughs> and there we go. First act done. Um, lag like crazy, and now we are level thirty-two or something, hopefully. And yeah, now we're in the Drow Kingdom. Okay, thanks. Hello? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, join me. Uh, yeah, they're all joining me, and you all, like, uh, know from playing RPGs, you're the only reason you have henchmen is to take all their stuff, right? I mean, that's at least uh, what all of you did. I know it. I know all of you. And then we're just gonna kick her from our group. Goodbye, Nithera. Same for Valen. He has a really nice amulet that I like, and his boots are wonderfully fitting into my collection, and goodbye, you too shall go from my group and now we're gonna do some leveling so now is a perfect time for donations anonymous donated fifteen dollars this one goes out to nba he <laughs> anonymous donated one hundred dollars Ooh, thank you anonymous you're donating a lot today henny donated five dollars sir you are skipping content the developers have put countless hours of work into sir that's sir. illegal sir 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 Sir, it's not illegal, I swear. Not in this country. That's like why ESA is in Sweden. You can cheat here in video games. Yeah, so again, we're picking a lot of feats that make us stronger in combat. And trust me, at the end of this, so this toughness this gives me more HP. At the end of this, we're going to be completely nuts with everything we do. Uh, if only I remember what to do. Yeah, this one. And I need to remember at when I'm the level 30 monk, which is now, to pick my all of my s skills. So I'm going to put those onto Discipline, Tumble, that will make me more durable. 
Um, lore is not as important, and I believe this is correct. And now he did it correctly, so thankfully I didn't mess up. And the only reason we're going to become a rogue is to become... Because appraise, you can pick literally any other class through, but appraise needs to be a class skill, so we can put 36, 37 points in there, and actually we're even higher level, which is pretty sick. Yeah, I spammed way too much, actually. This computer is really fast. Whew. Well, okay, well, in any case, never uh, hurts to be stronger. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Need the wisdom, definitely. Okay, there we go. 32 is way too high. Doesn't matter. Okay. So now we're off on our adventure, and usually in this, in this part... Um, we need to, hopefully not, please don't be invisible, please. I'm invisible. Okay, I'm actually going to remove that because it really annoys me and I can't clip through walls easily. Uh, yeah, so the only reason we're on this island in the first place is because we usually, this is a really, really, really long chapter. Um, we need to find the Valtares, the Valtares is the leader of the drow. The Valtares is really strong, they're attacking the friendly drow which we're allied with. Uh, you need to find an army, set up an army, set up traps, whatever, you can also, like, also this is really difficult getting past them. There we go, easy every time. Um, and actually we're gonna do none of this. Um, the only thing we're gonna do is get in here, also, oops, <laughs> accidentally backpedaled. Sure. So, yeah, we have an item here which can place markers. So this red ball means I can teleport to that point, uh, don't mind these golems. And the only thing we're gonna do is complete a single quest, because after that we're gonna have a dream. Okay, and the fastest quest to do is this one with the golems. You can actually walk around. There are probably like six, seven, eight side quests you can do. Actually, why am I talking to this guy? And now we're going to do into uh, go into here, and he's really he really doesn't want us to be there. So every time I do that, he's going to be like, hey, pr please, please. But I, I need to clip the door, and it's really annoying because it keeps tilting my camera and zooming me in. Oh, okay, poggers. It's not over, though, so these guys are really strong, and I can first try that. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. So now I steal their most valuable thing. So I'm gonna do a quick, quick save, quick load to get rid of the exhaustion from f fighting. Take their stuff and then teleport away to the marker I placed. And now we're gonna give the other golems, which they're fighting, the power source of the one golem, and they would be like, wow, thank you, sir, you saved my life. We can now beat the, the crap out of the golems that you just stole. Okay, th currently they don't like me. They won here, so they're all they really want to beat me up, basically. But that will soon change when I tell their leader, hey, brother, take this. But we do that by spamming one. Okay, and then we go back to the city. Okay, sir. Sir? Going back to the city, I said. Sir. There we go. We go back to the city. Um, and now, once I exit, this is actually one of the, probably my favorite trick in the entire run because it's just so brilliant. So we're going to talk to the seer. Okay, we completed the first quest, and now we have this dialogue open for pl placing a marker for teleporting. And the way cutscenes... So, once I enter this door, I'm going to be dreaming. And the way cutscenes in this game work is you actually get teleported into the place where you're supposed to be. And I got it. So now my invisible self is standing there, and you can see this little red ball, because my invisible self controls the camera right now, and I just placed a marker into the cutscene. So now let's see where that takes us. So we go there, and we're at the end of the chapter, because that is actually the real throne room of the Vulture-S, and the real Vulture-S, and the real end boss, and everything we need to do now is cast True Strike, and then beat the crap out of her. So, by the way, this guy is not supposed to be there, this is the real end boss. Um, there's some huge plot going on, he's the ruler of the 8th hell. Also, I need to remember to not pause the, to pause the game when she's dead. So there we go, take all her stuff. It's a beautiful sound. Thank you very much, game. So I'm gonna show you this cutscene again because usually you're in that throne room, you're beating your way, like you win the fight, the battle, uh, you you go through this whole drow thing, you and then yeah, you can see all the people just still beating up my invisible self. Um, they're like, <laughs> oh, I killed one actually. What? Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> so this guy here in front is my clone. Here, this is actually like he still should be talking to the clone, but he's not. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, could just kill him now, but yeah, we're gonna get teleported in the third act of the of the whole thing. And now we're actually in Kanya, which is, as you might or might not know, the eighth layer of hell. Uh, Mephistopheles is ruling Kanya, and he has actually this was whole, all a little prank. Um, you like, it's actually such a brilliant story. Um, normally in games you keep, can can you can respawn and save and stuff, and the game never bothers to explain to you why. 
In this game, actually, um, the reason why you can respawn over and over is because you have this relic. And Mephistopheles actually made you respawn, like made you invincible, because he convinced the guy who made the relic to make you respawn over and over. Uh, only so that you can beat the Vasharas, who bound hi him to her will. And the reason to do that is because he can use then the spell that she used on him to come to the overworld and then kill everybody there, as they usually do. Uh, I'm going to sell this and this, uh, identify this. And now, actually identify this. So this is my second ring, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, the mouse is a bit finicky, but it's all good. If you have a donation, now would be the perfect time. FNZ donated five dollars. <laughs> Sajiki Poggers. Poggers. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna swap those two. Yeah, if you want more, just keep going. Naren donated ten dollars. Hi, Sajiki. Greetings from the UHV community. Oh, hello, UHV community. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so unfortunately I did something wrong. Um, oh no, yeah. Okay, well, it doesn't matter so much. So as you can see, I can buy this full plate plus six for 4, 000, uh, 42,000 gold pieces and then sell it back to him for 48,000 gold pieces. So that is actual capitalism you can see here. So uh, we're just gonna buy full plates because we need a shitload of money. Um, and we actually need 900,000 gold pieces to beat the final boss in the game. Actually, we're not going to beat him. Uh, we're going to kindly ask him to die, please. And the gods request a high sum of money in order for us to do that, of course. Uh, the gods, you know them all. Um, the tax community, uh, no, the tax, what are they called? Taxers? What? Mr. Tax. They request high sums of money for you to do stuff in life. Yeah, in any case, I'll be s just be doing this over and over. Um, Again, the story in this game, Mephistopheles uh, send you now, banished him into the 8th layer of hell where he's actually from. And you will have to find a way back and fight him. He's basically just ruling the overworld and killing everybody up there. And the only way you can do that is by uh, finding out his true name. Because in Oril, for whatever reason, everybody has a true name. And if you know one's true name, you can command them to do whatever you want. And turns out, the only way he found out what his true name was, his own true name, is because he, there is a celestial creature, the knower of names, and he actually found her, uh, seduced her. She fell in love with him and then told him his true name and then she, he bound her to his will and then buried her somewhere and you don't know where and we're going to have to find her. That's the whole story. So there's a game about doxing people. Yeah. Pretty much exactly that, yeah. Okay, <laughs> just keep buying full plays and we have 900,000 gold because she's a celestial. Um, yeah, she requires absurd sums of gold. I need 910,000. Also, uh, that should be pretty much enough. No, let's do some more. I'm just going to be safe. I don't want to reset this run um, 40 minutes in. Well, you're That's not allowed to. I am allowed to. Sir. Who, who tells me I'm not allowed? Yeah, also, this is the barkeeper here. It's a dragon. Pretty sympathetic in hell. But yeah, this merchant, unfortunately, doesn't have all the goodies. Uh, we need to go somewhere else. Uh, there's a really bad the guy in here um he doesn't want to sell us anything though seed liner um we need to beat up one of his co-workers <laughs> as you do uh actually this guy's sleeping not doing a good job of working so goodbye so now he's like well you helped me do stuff now you can buy stuff he's actually impossible by the way you can also attack him but yeah and he has actually really nice items which i enjoy buying so there's a lot of strength that I get here and a lot of more strength and then I'm gonna buy two of these because I learned these are useful so and then a bunch of healing potions which six should be plenty and we're good to go we can actually do some questing now okay so what we need to do is go into here uh, there's the sleepy guy he sleeps for thousands of years trying to find his true love um, this true love is this woman here so sorry Ugh, that's mm. unlucky. Yeah, it's just, it just happens. At least we didn't dox her. We just yeah, true, straight up true. beat her up. Yeah, that's yeah, better. And then the best way of w waking somebody up who's slumbering for uh, thousands of years is, of course, to stab him. So yes. there we go. That's what they do at the hospitals for also, night. Did you like this? Okay, hello, sir. Um, do you know where the number of names is? No, I have a ring, blah, blah, show me the ring, let's go. Okay, hardest fight in the game coming up. 
So I don't know what this is actually, like it's too long that I played this casually, but this is a really hard fight. Because these skeletons, they're e extremely spooky, as you can see here in the portrait. I mean, oh, oh my yeah. god. But they also do a crap ton of damage. You can see my HP here in the top right. Um, I also deal a crap ton of damage, but if they if I miss those throws that makes them knock down and fall asleep for a little bit, uh, they might actually just straight up kill me. And that's the one of the reasons why I have my uh, healing potions with me. And yeah, so this is a rule-based, uh, turn-based, rule-based also, it's but also it's also turn-based. Turn <laughs> so we want to be fighting pretty much the entire time, and not healing, and then big guy coming up, but he's also just going to fall asleep. It's like, <clears throat> high-octane sure. game plan by me here, just... <clears throat> Relax. <clears throat> okay, beat him, but thankfully there's three more. Take this. Oh, I missed the... The throw. So, in D&D, as you know, uh, we all rule dice, and as it can be, you can just have a poor dice, die, die roll, and just get killed by something. And that can totally happen in this game, even though most of the items I pick up and most of the feats I I choose are t in order to prevent exactly that. So it makes me unable to basically fail my, th my throws. Also, do you like this? Yes. Stream. Sirs. Can you show show it to me later? <sighs> Private zooming session. Yeah, sure. We can do some some short. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really enjoy you in the commentary, Kyle. Thank, Thank you. you. It would be better if I could understand the text, but there's no, no, it doesn't really matter. Nothing I can understand. No, no, it really doesn't matter. You see if skeleton fall down. Oh, I actually forgot to clap. heal. Okay, I'm actually gonna drink another potion. There we go. So I'm gonna keep holding tab so you see the name you all donated for. What do you mean all? I mean not not all of you, but they won choosing that name. Okay, final man. Let's see what they drop. Oh, 43. Let's go. Take that. So this skeleton had his wallet still on him. Yeah, and the whole goal of this is to reassemble a ring that the sleepy guy had in his possession a long time ago. And he, I don't know, put it into three pieces. We're going to use them. And there we go. Now we have a nice ring. And the ring is actually just a straight up cheat. Um, it just tells you where to go. It's a ball hack and everything. Uh, I'm going to show you. Put it on and then you see these arrows right there. Yes. Yeah, let's go here and then here we have to take a right and then here box box please. For new inters. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Uh, sorry, <laughs> too early. Yeah. Okay, and then Mephistopheles, of course, he expected you to find him. So he placed the Guardian of the Path here and this is big questionable animation. I'm now a pixie. The reason is because I killed the woman earlier, she gave me an amulet. You actually never saw me picking it up, but I have it in my inventory and it makes me able to become pixie or something else. You'll see soon what I become. And this is kind of a tutorial to show me exactly how that's going to work and what's, what that's going to do. Now I'm big boy. Okay, this man has actually a purpose in the run. Why? And now I'm wolf and hopefully he's not going to one-shot me because I, the wolf is really low HP. Please, sir. I'm just a dog. Whew! Baby! <laughs> Run, wolf! <laughs> wolf, drink potion! Oh, perfect. Okay, so now there's... You can tell uh, the wall hack points me towards here. Uh, we don't actually care about what we just did. Uh, so we need Sir now. Sir? Sir? There we go. Sir? Sir? Actually, we, we can do a quick salute here. On No. I don't... No! <coughs> Sir? Okay. So now we're going to go here, take control of Sir, because that's the only reason we have him. And then just slightly backpedal, and there we go. Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you for your service. And now get, get click this... Oh, first try. Okay, that's actually really hard. Actually, get need to get rid of Sir. Thank you for clapping. Really enjoy that. Please uh, keep clapping. No, 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 no. No! Stop! Stop, guys! Suck, 
Okay, sick cutscene coming up. Uh, so this is the mimic. The mimic's lair is. The mimic's gonna steal our armor. That's why I put on the shitty armor from earlier, so that he doesn't steal my nice haste armor. A lager. Yeah, lager. Oh. She's talking about beer. <laughs> Verdammt. Yeah. So the other guy would have said uh, something else. They all okay. say something else. And now we get to ask. <laughs> Nobody was asking. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna solve the sick puzzle. And this is actually a really, really cool. Hello, sir. Cool glitch. So I'm gonna use any uh, move in a really peculiar way here. Cast myself. No. Sir. No. Okay. That means they're gonna follow me into the next room. And they're really strong. Who? The guys throwing stuff. See? Ah. These guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now I see. <laughs> <laughs> I hope only one comes. It's because I have to actually be quick. Also, I can move in this cutscene when I hold W. It worked, so now I'm inside the Mimic. <laughs> uh, also, the Sir is gonna come very soon and start shooting me again, probably. So this is the most annoying RNG nonsense. Oh no, oh. there's actually three of them. A few Sirs? Oh my god, this is, might be bad. I might just die. And I have to hurry in the section because I'm on a timer. There's a three minute timer that I have to finish this in and that will allow me to do a extremely big skip later on. I'm just gonna take my time and kill this guy. So the music just gets really dramatic when you start fighting. Okay, so now I need to find as soon as possible. There is one. So the only way to kill the Mimic, the Mimic is, cannot actually be killed by any normal measures. Okay, just this computer makes it teleport around. Okay, you're gonna pick, put that down on the floor and then hopefully the Mimic's gonna not pick up the rat. No, okay, it ate the rat. <laughs> F. Sir, sir. It's gonna pick up the other thing too. Please, come here, please. Please, sir. Yes? Okay, this is actually Monka. I'm not even joking. You're not? Need some serious time, account. Sorry. No. Okay, so... This might go on for two hours, so I hope you have some time. I'm gonna put it down here, actually. Damon Demolition donated $25. This run is just like a classic D&D &D adventure with a 12-year-old dungeon master. <laughs> uh, are you calling me 12-year-old? That's really nice. I'm really <laughs> old in reality. So, uh... Oh, thanks. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't put it down. No, it's leaving. Oh, bitu. <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, sir. <laughs> I can say that I'm not actually finished. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> okay, we're okay. We're definitely not gonna make the three-minute timer now. I'm not gonna show off the big glitch. That's really sad. You can boo me. You can stop killing the rat. Just, oh, brother. Please, sir, uh, boo Sajiki. Uh, um, I deserve it for the bad quick save. Okay, put this down here, and then hopefully the sir is gonna come soon. After it's done killing all the rats, I'm just gonna take it away so it stops collecting stuff. Oh, it's still doing that. Oh, brother. <sighs> Please go left. 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 In, 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 in. Ben, stop, please. Okay. Talk so much. Yes? Oh. Ooh. Sir, here? Please? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? What is this? You've been doing? Okay, we're gonna do the, a sick route here. Please move, sir. Okay. Take it away from. Oh. Okay, let's go around there, yes, and again. No, oh, come on. <laughs> come on, this is the worst thing in the game. Okay, well. I'm gonna actually put two down here to make it to make it safe. Of course it's gonna ignore me again, right? Oh, looks good. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on. Sir, please. No way it can ignore those. No way. This is too... D no, come on. Oh? Oh! 
Oh. Oh. Yes. Okay. Thank God. Okay. Beat this guy up. He can heal, so we need to make him kneel. Oh, nice rhyme huh? by me. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, we can finally proceed with the game. I'm definitely not gonna make that timer, sadly. As I said, earlier, please, please stop giving me stop giving me dialogues. Okay. So now we have the hand that the it just is not working currently. We have we pretend to have that. Sir. Okay, there we go. We have the hand, and it's that, that's never happened before to me. But okay, so you picked up the cheating thing. So these guys are actually incredibly like they, if I step forward, they will. Let me, okay, exactly that's gonna happen. So professional man has a quick save ready. So we're gonna s just go around their uh, trigger, and they're just gonna not gonna bother us. Thank you. So now we're gonna do a quick rest. Quick resting is when you rest, quick save, quick load, and you're done resting because of course we need sir. 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 Sir is here. Actually, by the way, Prasco knows what sir means in Croatian. It's uh, cheese. Okay. Okay, we move ourselves. Oh, very Oh, there we go, sir. Very well done. This can be finicky as well. And then we enter this, and a uh, big cutscene coming up. Let's see what they say. Sir is still there, by the way. He's n no, not very long though. He's really low level and he's just gonna get one shot. No. So say goodbye to Sir. Sir, please. Sir, oh, sir. he's instantly dead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, another RNG thing coming up, of course. Oh, come, on, stop! In I, I didn't pick concentration. That's why. Should make myself invisible. Okay, goodbye. Uh, so this is entirely RNG. This section, uh, the arrows teleport you to. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, now I can't see the arrow anymore because they put the stupid spell in there. Maybe now invisible? Yes. Okay, and then final one. Okay, so now all of this is done to find, I mean, we're just following Mephistopheles on his way to the Knower of Names currently. Need to walk through these doors because we never actually finished the puzzles. Oh yeah, by the way, we're stupidly fast now, and the reason is because monks get uh, freedom of movement every level, so that means they get faster and faster and faster, and we're a level 32 monk. So uh, with haste, that makes us stupidly fast, as you can see. Okay, so now the big shot here. Oh, too bad. So you can get the across there in one hit, in one, ch in one claw, in one hand. Attempt. In one attempt. No, it's hand. And normally, uh, if I were in this level and I wouldn't have taken 80 years to finish the Mimic Lair, uh, it would have a an event run out, and that event would make a portal spawn, which it's just a big coincidence because it calls a, a function, basically. Uh, the function has coincidentally the same number as the function in this level and calling the portal. What's the number? I think it's... Oh, I don't know. Well, And now we actually have to fight this guy, and since I have really low amount of field potions, it's a bit monka, and because he's probably the strongest fight in the video game. So hopefully I'm not gonna mess that up. I'm about to die. And the problem is he also keeps... Um, he keeps casting more spells, which are makes him more like harder to hit. Okay, I'm getting good hits in though, and thankfully he doesn't really heal much. He just healed the other guy, but not himself. So there's unfortunately not much I can do here, I can just hope that this fight works. And this guy keeps casting heal, thanks very well. So as you can see he casts really really high level spells. If I roll a 1 on any of these I'm instantly dead, so hopefully that's not gonna happen, it's a 5% chance. Good thing is he has such a repertoire of dumb spells that he just keeps casting useless like fireballs at me that absolutely do no damage whatsoever. Okay, we actually dealt an 80 hit there. That's pretty strong. You're so cool. Thank you. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, crit 76. 
Mm-hmm. Please. Please. Just hit him. You can also follow what's going on here if you want to. There we go. And yep. this portal, uh, that helps, right? Yeah. So this portal it would have been there in the first place. Okay, now we're here. She has nobody. This is just the head. I also have nobody. She... <laughs> Uh, thanks, nobody was asking, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's the knower of places, and she knows where the knower of names is, of course. All makes perfect sense. Okay, so, um... Thankfully, all these guys don't know that we are here, and, kind of, it's time for your favorite cutscene, actually. In the video game, can we get some poggers in chat for the upcoming cutscene? I mean, not yet. Keep the poggers... Keep no, don't Can we post. get some poggers in the audience? Can we get some catgasms in the audience? Actually, because this cutscene is just so epic for the year 2002. Oh my god. It's the Omega Surge. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> every Jesus time, every Christ. time I freak out. It's just... Oh, that like and the way he just like... Afterward. Wow. Okay, well. Just go. So I'm still invisible even though I'm clearly visible. Don't worry about it. I'm not. Okay, now a big battle going on. We're invisible though. Nobody, nobody was asking about the big battle, so I'm not going to explain what's going on. What's going on with the big battle? Uh, don't, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so uh, this is the place where the knower of names is buried. In one of these tombs here, you see him. A lot of tombs, 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 tombs. Uh, we gotta first of all kill a million guys though. I think it's 50 or something along the lines. 50 They're million? 50 million guys. Actually, actually and, and we're for some reason we just stop attacking every once in a while. Uh, thankfully we have cleave though as you can see. We're just like... Cleave, 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 cleave. The guys with bow are annoying though. How <laughs> can we just instantly fall fell over? Oh, we stopped attacking again. Yeah, pretty epic gameplay. I mean, actually pretty cool, but... Um, so, uh, the guy we just fought, which you wouldn't have seen if I didn't fail the Mimic there, uh, that was the second Guardian of the Path, and you're about to see the third and last one. They're supposed to be, like, stronger and stronger because they're, like, Mephistopheles, like, highest rank officers and whatnot. Um, the third one is actually just a clown, though. I don't know. Uh, and it's... As everything else in D and D entirely freaking RG, how fast we're gonna kill him? Uh, you can one cycle him. You can eighteen cycle him. Can you bicycle him? I. <laughs> uh, I love this man on commentary here. Can we give it up for Kinalo? <laughs> Thank you. Good, good. Oh, we stopped attacking. Now again. <laughs> yeah. Keep clapping. <laughs> Keep clapping. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that might be the last one. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, maybe. And now epic cutscene again, which of course is unskippable because it's just so good. Oh no! I okay, so Jesus, we can, we can, we can. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, we can, we can one cycle him. Let's see. Pray, pray to. Oh, he's not doing anything. He's just chilling. Sir? He's vibing. So again, by the way, we have picked epic fire resistance level two for a reason. Every single one of the bad guys has oh, one cycle. Okay. Uh, has uh, these stupid fire shields and okay he just healed himself okay yeah everything is exploding okay keep sealing okay three cycles okay three cycles pretty fast uh, and now I actually forgot there's no cutscene I need to actually do stuff uh, wrong way streamer knows what he's doing don't worry about it uh, you're gonna use the hand uh, and now, for the first time, and last time, we will equip this woman's thing and become the big boy. And the only reason is... Can you explain this, actually? Yes, the large man uses the catapult to throw big rock into the hole. Which... Okay, so Mephistopheles, the yes. ruler of hell, buried his only way to be captured here, under the eternal snow of Kanya. But this catapult, ladies and gentlemen, this catapult is able to melt it, of course. Actually, is it the one way or the other? Okay, like this. There we go. 
And as you can see, the cannibal is extremely strong. Easy snow melt every time. And there she is. That's the number of names. We're really close to time, by the way. So the only thing we need to do now, do now is find out her true name, which uh, she needs a lot of money for that. Trust me, she's not cheap. Um, so need some names, yours, 200,000 gold pieces for that. It's Unfortunately, of course, need to know the name of Mephistopheles. Can't do that. Unfortunately, he commanded me, but I have your name. 500,000 gold pieces, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. And then um, we need to find out the name of uh, this guy so he can send us home. Uh, he was actually bound by Mephistopheles. We don't care about the sleepy guy. Also, because we were a rock guy, we have to actually get haste again, so we're fast. Yeah, and now, since we have the no true name of the gatekeeper guy, he can actually, we can conv like tell him, Hey, man, please send us home. Sir. Sir, send us home. That's what I meant. It's like, yes. It's gonna make a portal. And now we're gonna go home, and I'm gonna show the cutscene because we have enough time. We're comfortably underestimate. I could just skip it, and the game ends immediately. But as you can see, deep water, water deep. I said this. say deep water earlier. Water deep is under attack by a huge amount of like an incredibly epic battle is going on. Skip it, and there we go. Uh, our arch nemesis is right here, and we're like, I am here to stop you. Um, and then you say, um, stop it, and then I command you to die, and that is time. And he's like, Raug. 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 <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed a little bit. We will have the... So this man wrote down the story for us. He is a uh, nice haircut. Blah, blah, blah. blah. So we, I'm just going to do this so you can see the lady without body again. Sir. Yeah, it's funny. No, uh, also the... We never actually met this guy, but he's still there. There we go. So on this note, um, thank you for allowing me to do this. It was a really, really great run. It meant a lot to me that I was able to show it. Um, also, thanks crowd. Thanks my good sir here for helping me out. And uh, goodbye everyone.